Hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to the Star Sector Carrier Only Let's Play. Now, I'm actually in the middle of a ludic path system because uh, I checked this super bounty system between episodes. There is no pirates left everybody, they've all died. So instead, I've gone over to the, this, this system here which has a ludic path cultist military base which hopefully means we can get some cool combat going on. Afterwards, I'm going to try and move over and, oh that was a bit of a miss, try and find myself some more combat carriers but first we need money to even afford the most basic of ships so we've got to work on that anyway now let's take these guys down shall we what is this pay a teeth i refuse prepare to die sir this guy interesting so i'm probably only going to be using my combat ships from now on so we have my heron and my drover the sh shepherd's not really that powerful so i think we're going to just leave them be at the sidelines for now okay let's do this we probably want to focus down the enemy Sundra, because if it gets too close, I'm pretty sure we'll die. So if I just do a quick double attack, go my beauties. It's kind of a shame we've only got two carries at this point. I would love to see more super fighter power later on. Look at that barrage. Oh no. <laughs> Beautiful. Can the gladiators finish it off? Maybe? It's close. Excellent. Good job, guys. Okay, the problem is, now that my guys are over there, I've got no defences over here. So hopefully we get some backup soon. I say that, the, what, did you see that? <laughs> he shot at point blank range, it somehow rev did like a 180 and went back the other way. That was some impressive dodging skills if I say so myself. From the missile, not from the enemy ship. Okay, so it's not great. I've got to keep backing up here. Do you know what I'm not doing? I need to put my uh, gun on. I keep forgetting I changed the uh, weapon groups because it was actually on the high velocity driver so it wasn't firing. Which is a very powerful weapon against frigates. Okay guys, finish it off. Beautiful, I love these bombers, they're absolutely amazing. So I think we're already left with, how did that happen? <laughs> There's some very weird behaviour with the torpedoes there everybody. They're dodging enemies, they're going to the wrong targets, it's pretty impressive. Perfect, enemy down. I don't think we get much loot from these guys, by the way, but I just wanted to have some practical experience when it came to uh, killing some enemies to get more XP. Um, ship recovery. No, there was no carriers in there. We can only use carriers, everybody. Let's have a look. Oh, a salamander missile. I'll take that. Skill point. Nice. Okay, so I'm level three now, which is... We're getting there. I... Oh, that was it. I was trying to figure out what to do next, was not I? Because I've already got the two carrier skills you can start off with. So we've got more faster... Uh, uh, fight replacement rates and we also got faster speed targets that kind of stuff loads of different things I was gonna probably try and go down the let's have a look quickly maybe the industrial route because I do want to try and get that demov repairer so we might have to rely on capturing a lot of carriers later on if I find them out in the wilderness there is also the possibility of me doing some combat skills later on but I think for now we will focus on industry so we need to get how many is it I need to find myself four industry skills, so it's going to be quite a few. I guess for now, have a look what we can pick. Um, let's go for this repair one. It's very cheap for repairs. We're probably going to get hurt quite a lot as we go around this game, so it should be pretty useful. At the same time, though, post battle savage. <laughs> There's so many uh, choices in this game. It's always a bit of a challenge trying to pick what you want. Let's go for this one for now, anyway. Done. Oh, can I make it an elite? No. I noticed they've changed elite skills a little bit since the last play, which is pretty awesome. So um, we might have to check that out as we go along, because I think we get even more perks than we used to if you build in S mods and stuff. Now, this system was a bit weird, because it was only... Um... Let's have a look. There's somebody over there who's quite... There's someone else. There's two fleets heading my way. Is this that one from earlier? When I arrived, there was a terrifying large fleet. That doesn't seem that bad to me, but at the same time, I probably should try and avoid it. I, If you, I was a smart person, I would probably avoid this fleet. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they do have a terrifying manticore, which we killed before, by the way, and a bunch of small ships, but look at all these mothballed things it has. This could get us a lot of money if we actually win this one. Let's go through it, it, shall we? I might need to deploy the power of the shepherds for this one. I'm going to be probably asking to escort the Drover because their uh, little mine drones actually do provide some point defense. Also, I do forget, I put Sandman's on these guys, so they will provide some kind of long range support. Okay, I'm going to probably do the exactly the same thing as last time. I'm going to tell my guys to fight a strike the big boy, get it out of the way, then we've only got to deal with little guys. I don't think this guy's shields are as... Oh, that was a good hit, good hit. Okay, let's keep backing up though. 
Now we've got a good bombing run in. Let's just take care of the small shuttles in front of us. Go mining drones! Mine them to oblivion! If, I love about this game is that when they get injured, enemy ships are flocked and stuff, they back up. They, they are gone for at least a little bit because they had to try and save their own holes and stuff. Can you not get so close, Drover? Why are you at the front? <laughs> it's not the plan, man. Okay, it's back. Switch target. My guy is literally just in a bombing run, so they'll be back in a second. And we can probably... Ah, perfect. Go, go, go! I love how quickly they uh, reload their weapons. It's pretty awesome. I think he's okay, actually. He actually has a flat cannon, so I'm surprised the original bombing run actually worked, to be honest. Can you back up, man? Why are you so close to the enemy? Must be, I'm a bit concerned about my gung-ho drover carrier here. We need to actually kill some of these ships, because they're kind of like... There's a lot of them, everybody. There is a lot of them. Okay, he's still going for his attack on that ship, so he'll keep up to distance. I'm just going to focus on these little frigates for now. Also, I forgot. Wait a second. High velocity driver. It's dead. It's over. No, good job. Let's go for the wolf next. Yeah, because if you remember from the last episode, I actually ran out of money when I was equipping my drover. So if I zoom in, it literally has two point defense cannons. <laughs> It's not exactly got a lot of stuff going for it, let's put it that way. Is there anybody you know, by the way? You know when I use my ability to increase the damage by 50%? Does that work if I've already fired the torpedoes? Or does it only work after I fire, uh, like while it's in the hangar bay kind of thing? Like, I have no idea, let me know in the comments. I will, it'll already be too late at this point, by the way, but I'd just be curious to know for future times I play the game how that works. That mule's getting a bit close. Weirdly, it's got pretty good shields. Normally, these have terrible shielding. Okay, I think another one or two bombards, we should be okay. Is that... Did we kill that manticore? It seems to be gone. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. I mean, he was sending his attack one guys off miles away before, so maybe he knocked it out without me realising. It's over. Perfect. Where's the additional bomber run? Let's take it in there. Oh, I love how cool this game is with carriers and stuff. Beautiful. Oh, I probably shouldn't have zoomed in so far. <laughs> Pretex, responsible for blinding a thousand people. It happens. Okay, I think this is definitely the last guy. One of the most annoying skills in the game, the ability to have that damage reduction. I think it's like 90 or 85% or something. It is extremely good at soaking up your ship's um, DPS when you don't want it to. That guy is nearly out of there. I'm pretty sure the man call's gone. But we have found enemy shepherd though, so we can take that guy down. Ah, come on. There you go. Kill him. Let's try and invest in some uh, better fighter craft for us, ourselves as well. The Gladius is good, but it's not it's not a high tier fighter, that is for sure. Spin! <laughs> Dance for me or you may live! I lied. <laughs> cool. Done. I'm pretty well. So, the shoe target, I'm going to auto-resolve this one, because I want to get as many as possible. Uh, so we just get everybody going auto-resolve mode. We killed all of them. <laughs> uh, so we actually get a load of Geminis. I'm actually kind of tempted to grab them, actually. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. So Geminis have carrier bays, so I can actually use them as a semi... <laughs> I can actually put them in as a carrier. It's not perfect, but it'd be pretty funny. Okay, let's grab all of these guys. This is going to be a problem with my... Um... I will say, by the way, as a addition to my no carrier rule, I can do uh, logistic ships. Otherwise, we're not going to have any fuel or any cargo capacity. Although I say that, a lot of these basic carriers are actually freighters, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to take all that. I'm going to immediately mothball them all before I go horrifically bankrupt, and we're going to move on with our lives. I would... People are like, oh, let's take the Atlas. It's worth a story point, uh, and also maximum burn's really slow, so we won't be very fast. So I want to keep up a good speed at this point. Okay, ah, oh, look at all this. Look at all that loot. I'll take it all. So, we might have to get rid of a little bit of supplies there. Actually, no. What we do... Continue. Level up, very nice. Yes! <laughs> that was a gamble, everybody. It was a gamble. Cargo capacity, plus 50%. I'll take it. Do I still have too much stuff, though? Let me just have a quick look. Uh, where is cargo capacity? Wait, I'm having a brain fart. Give me a second. It's okay. Don't worry about it. 
So these ships already start off mothballed. Um, which is okay. That's, that's totally fine. Oh, they got warthogs? I love warthogs. In many different video games, especially Halo. Although not so much these days. Halo's kind of gone a bit downhill a bit. I'm just going to put some shade on Halo. Don't mind me. It's fine. Um, Warthog Assault Fighter. Very cool. Light mortars. Very good against enemy armor. Anyway, so we've got loads of these little freighters here. These would be... They've got two medium mounts. So I can put on them if I wanted, like, two lots of flak. So they're very good at, like, backing off enemies. Um, and also, I can put a medium support missile on it. So this would be ideal if we had a bunch of these at the back and we put on the... Was it the Pelum? The long-range support missiles. We would just have spams of tons of missiles and fighters going towards our enemies at all times. I'm looking forward to it. At least until we get more combat units anyway. If I... I don't normally like losing ships in this game, but at the same time... It's okay. <laughs> if they die, they die. They're not by proper combat ships. Oh, sorry. That was my phone going off if you heard that. Ignore it. It's fine. I should really have been on uh, the different mode there. It's okay. Moving on. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here now. I've got some combat experience under my belt. Okay, everybody. I've actually managed to get back to a nearby military base. I have kind of put together some really basic ships. So we have the two Geminis now, which have... Two Pillum launchers each, so they can do long range support, which is really, really handy, and a 4k range fighter. Apart from that, though, <laughs> that's all they really have. I ran out of money, so I kind of just gave them random stuff in my inventory, so they're not exactly super combat ships, but at least they'll be able to provide some kind of long range support as we go ahead. Now, next thing I'm going to try and do is I was going to do some bounty missions and maybe some like exploration stuff. There's no missions nearby, I can't do any of them. So instead, I'm going to do a bit of a Hail Mary. I'm going to be grabbing a load of money. It's going to be a crazy idea, but it should be totally fine. 80 Marines. There's actually a nearby pirate base under attack from the Sundarians themselves. I want to see, if I can, help them kill it, get loads of loot that way, and then maybe if we're lucky, capture it or maybe at least raid it. But we'll see what happens on that one. Uh, oh, wait, there's two more missions that have just appeared. Are they nearby? No, they're all miles away. <laughs> I haven't got the range for that. This is my range. It's 5k. Don't worry, we'll deal with it at some point. Anyway, let's keep going this way. So, with how this works, I recorded this a few times because I made some mistakes on the... Uh, I, I kind of broke some stuff, it's fine. But anyway, <laughs> uh, if I go over here, the auto-resolver is a bit random sometimes. So, if we're lucky, this, dam this station should be damaged. It is damaged. Perfect, let's go in. Sometimes this little fleet gets absolutely wiped out. Sometimes it dies before I get there. It's a very dynamic auto battle system to say the least. Okay, let's go and join him, shall we? Uh, I'm going to deploy my entire fleet so we can see our brand new units in action. I don't... Oh, I crashed into a rock. <laughs> it happens every time, everybody. So I will say, um, for my very limited experience of using combat carriers such as a Gemini... Or at least pretend to make it a combat carrier. These guys have some severe issues with their AI. They keep suiciding into enemies for some reason. So <laughs> we've got to be very, very careful with how we use them. Let's put it that way. Oh, we're so far away. Wait, did everybody else apart from that Gemini at the front crash into an asteroid? Because we're really far back. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> I guess it happens. Although it does seem a bit strange to me. I don't think we're actually going to make it in time. We might just miss this entire battle. Can I do uh, this? Let's at least watch what's happening. There you go. So they've only got two hangar sections left, which are not strong enough to really do much against us, to be honest. I think I'm in range. Let's just send them out and see what happens. They're going somewhere. Well, they are killing some bombs as well. Uh oh. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> I don't want to get murdered by bombs there. Oh, look at that speed! Ah, so unfortunately we're currently coming to the battle from the wrong angle, so they're going to just shoot into the support structures, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Oh, we're not going to get many hits on this at all, are we? But we can still scavenge, even though we haven't done much in terms of actually helping the battle win. We can still scavenge stuff afterwards, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, that was bright. Good job, guys. You know what? Weirdly, we got quite a lot of stuff there. I guess we did get some good bombing runs at the end there. We got some flat cannons I might be able to equip onto my other ships in a second. More launchers. Pretty good haul, actually. I'm, I'm happy with that. <gasps> Whoa! Luckily, loot doesn't evaporate. I, I may have made a grand mistake there. Okay, so we got the actual station itself now, which is kind of a bit damaged. Let's have a look at the... Wait, before I do that. High risk. Screw it, it'll be fine. 
fine. That was not worth it in any way. Moving on. Okay. Military action. I could do a raid, technically. Or I can just capture it. I kind of want to capture it just to see how the new mechanics work for this uh, this patch. Because I haven't seen them at all. So the quicker we do it, the quicker we can see the patches. Uh, the new content. So I'm just going to go in there. We've got 80 Marines versus 104 Militia. I think we'll be okay. What I'm actually going to do... It's going to annoy some people. Oh, it won't let me do it. We have one really powerful one. We're going to just drop them on the same location though. I do not want to waste my troops if I can avoid it. So we drop them in. I'm also going to avoid doing the bombards. So I'd rather have the station online quicker if we can. So we'll get that going in a second. At this point, we simply just wait to see the updates from the days. Let's give it a second. Okay, so first day, we've already devastated a lot of enemies there, which is perfect. I kind of am tempted to actually bomb that in the end. We'll leave it, we'll leave it. Hopefully we win this. It might be a bit of a... Um... Turn two. How are we looking? So now we have more morale. Do I want to move over? We'll move them over. Marines should surely kill militia, right? Unless we're playing Bandlord. Maybe this is Bandlord in disguise. <laughs> oh no, it's looking a bit dodgy, isn't it? Look at the strength difference, though. Why is this so close? Wait, where is it? 47 strength. <laughs> oh, that's my wife. Sorry, I thought that's two different platoons. Uh, let's probably pop an ability, I think. Oh, I could use this, I guess. Screw it. We'll go for it. I get some XP back from this anyway, so... No, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm very stingy with my story points, I'm sorry. I will use it on my super ships later on in the game. We have one, though. We, Despite all the Marines dying in, like, a one-on-one -on -one pitch battle, we have one here. Militia Unleash, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? They've escaped, sir! Do it now a day or so. I guess we'll find out in a second when we get a big pop-up saying, you've got a new faction. No one died that day. There must have been a day off. What? How's this still going? I guess auto moves not working. Reorganize it. Okay, screw it. I'm going to do this. I don't know what's going on, but it's not working as I would expect it to work. There you go. Can you guys move, please? Okay, now they're going to keep going backwards and forwards. <laughs> We keep going and then they disappear, sir. Ah, we've done it. Book Nantora Samada. So does that, what is that, does that word mean fighter? Yes, I think it does. So fighter Armada, I'll take it. So we're going to go for a fighter-esque emblem. Ooh, let's go for this one. Wings of Freedom. We are the Book Nantora Samada. No, I don't like it. Change it. We're going to change it. We're going to be the fighter... Imperium. A fighter. That's a terrible name. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> no, I won't. Eagle. Eagle Imperium. There you go. We are the Imperium. Uh, we are the Imperial Imperium. Or oh, Eagle Imperium. Sorry. We are. And A. Perfect. So we will be the. East. <laughs> the perfect prefix. Perfect. So done. Made my own little base, which is pretty fun. Uh, do I get loot from here, by the way? I think I do sometimes. Let's have a quick look at storage. They have some free supplies and food, so I'll take all that. Thank you very much. As for the actual colony, it's kind of cursed. Um, <laughs> it's pretty much all there is to it, really. I, let's have a look at this different thing, shall we? Industrial structures. Oh, wait. Where is the mining one? The, the space mining? Is that in a mod? Oh, I might have done like a mod thing by myself. I think in the past I always do space mining. Maybe not in base game. Uh, we can't afford any of this anyway, so we just have to leave it be. And we have some mine that's going to come back online in 10 days. As well as other things. Of course, we start with really bad stability, though. So that's a big problem for us. But we just have to see how it goes. Uh, as for the rest of it, I actually did see on my previous lives that we actually have some new settings. If we go over to Intel. Where is it? I found it somewhere. Give me a second, everybody. I think it was under Diffmatic Profiles. Yes, I can now actually change the ideology of my beautiful Imperial Imperium. 
at Eagle Imperium. So what we're going to be doing is kind of cheating. <laughs> I'm going to change all these so I get a lot of bonuses with all these different factions. So I'm going to do this, 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 and this. So already we get quite a good amount of uh, pre-alignments from all these settings here. And we're going to get rid of the corporations. Actually, that kind of makes it worse. Oh, wait. You can get some pretty good relations with other people. I might just uh, leave that one neutral, actually. Yeah, really that neutral. Okay, so change all these random settings. Changes my ethos. Which has disposition, pe uh, disposition penalty from free ports. What does that mean? I actually have no idea. <laughs> it probably means something. That's all I know. That's all I can really say for sure. Anyway, doing this though, we hopefully get some a bit more passive relations with our nearby friends. Let's call them friends for now. Others disposition to us. Oh, I get a relationship debuff from having free ports. Is that how that works? Interesting. I guess I probably should make this place not a free port then. But then the growth tanks into the ground. Wow. That's really bad. <laughs> That's really, really bad. Um, oh yeah, growth rate plus 10. Ooh, we have to keep that on for now then, I guess. And we just leave it be. We might change it later on. I don't think this is going to be very good for money, but like I said, I really wanted to try out the new features. So if I go into, there's another menu somewhere now we can look at. If I try and find it somewhere. Where is it, game? Um, This one? Aha! Carny frets. There you go. So you've got a brand new system where it kind of like ticks up over time based on your colonies being in danger. So you can see that we got plus 13 due to um, instability and presence. I guess presence means location near pirate bases. And as it goes up, you unlock events such as this one. So you get what negative one stability. Um, one card in your system. Blah, 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 blah. It does various things. Like, for instance, this one starts unlocking random events that might occur. This one unlocks um, increased defenses nearby. It's pretty cool. It kind of has like a big scale. I presume if you go all the way up to a uh, maximum, you get some crazy, like, death pirate fleet come and murder you or something. But we'll have to see. Uh, so I'll keep that going. Done. What do we want to do next? Let's have a look at the old uh, mission boards and stuff. So just doing those battles, I have actually managed to scrounge myself a little bit more fuel. Though a lot of the other missions are just too far away. Simply too far away. I say that, though. 84 days remaining. Amber's Charming. This one's quite good. So it's going to be in a radiator world near a blue primary star. Surely it's this one then. I say that because I think this is all colonized. So it must it must be here. Yeah, let's go and give that a shot. It is a shrike though. Shrikes are kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, though we do have a lot of fighters and bombers. So it should be okay at the same time. My beautiful empire. <laughs> What's this? Relief fleet? Oh, handy. Oh, actually, I'll say all this. We actually got ourselves some more points. Let's go for... Um, let's go for this one. Actually, I might do this. Oh, I'm sorry. This one. More movement speed. If we're going to be running around a lot doing various things, I do want a little bit more speed if we're going around doing bounty missions now. So we'll grab that. It gives us plus two in super burn speed. So I think before we're going at like 16, now we'll go slightly faster. System bounty over here. There's no pirates over here, is there? Bit confusing. <gasps> oh, I'll accept that. There's a nearby probe. Probes are really powerful for us now because we've got a little faction going. We can maybe get more blueprints. So for now, let's leave the system anyway. Did want some stuff first. So I don't know why there's a bounty here. There's surely not enough pirates. Yeah, looking at the radar, there's no... It's just military vessels. <laughs> Very odd. What can I say? Let's do some quick selling. I've got, now I've got some elite, super-powered veteran marines. Vastly more powerful than the world can ever guess. Thank you. Maybe we'll find some pirates on the way out. We can get some free money before we go anywhere else. Oh. I'm not surprised. We're going to set their demand. I accept. So that means we do lose 15% uh, of uh, income as tribute, and the growth rate goes down quite a bit. I don't really care though, 
Because it's not going to be a main planet anyway. It's just a little baby one we've set up somewhere. Ooh, that's miles away. <laughs> okay, first things first, over to the bounty. Ooh, what are the pirates on the outside? Oh, I can't see them. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they're here somewhere. Let's drop inside. We have to make sure we probably kill that Shrike in the first alpha. It's going to probably kill somebody. Irradiated world, correct? Uh oh. Aha! That way. Oh, cool. We're getting relation increases. Perfect. My plan's working. Hello? Aha. Oh, I just missed it. Let me destroy you. Got him. Let's go, guys. Quick money. Need a lot more of it to actually get much further, though, to be fair. Like, some of the stuff we need to buy is very expensive. Okay, go for the attack on the enemy main unit. Believe! Well, that was easy. <laughs> Perfect. The carrier fleet's working. Just a few guys to mop up and then we are done here. Oh, I thought I was going to miss, actually. Nice. I like how they kind of like went left and right to just kind of get it stuck in the middle there. It was pretty cool. Oh, come on. Oh, no. It didn't work out, damn it. Oh, do you know what I'm doing? I'm accidentally using a high velocity cannon. There you go. Oh, get that rail gun working. So one enemy left. Should be very quick to kill. Thank you. Okay. Do we have enough money to get to that set of mission as well it is over there but we're going to be going towards a probe right that should give us some loot so i'm not that worried um is it a yellow star oh wait it's not there what oh this must be one of those um dual systems there must be two stars in one place i was gonna say i was like wait that doesn't make any sense <laughs> before i leave we probably want to grab the gate for future teleporting it is extremely useful for getting around. Give me the power of teleporting. Oh, thank you. Unrest has been reduced by three. That is extremely useful. Is this the only gate I picked up? Oops. <laughs> I probably should have done more of those when I was, I was traveling around. We probably found like five or six gates at this point, so my bad. Oh, cool. We actually got some uh, income reports here. Not great, because of course everything's turned off still, but we're not make, we're not losing money either, so it shouldn't be too bad. And also, we've arrived, everybody. Uh, let's have a look. So, orbiting a yellow star. It's going to be that way, isn't it? These must be in the same system, technically. Or it won't make any sense. Yes, okay, perfect. Uh, let's have a look. So, if I do a quick scan, it's at the bottom. Okay, good. What's, the, what's that thing over there? While I'm here, I just want to take, take a look, right? Hello? This is another probe. This is not the one I was looking for. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I'll do it myself. These are like the original defenses they had. They don't even have shields, I don't think. They're pretty easy to kill. So I do a tactical sneeze. It's okay. I blocked, I blocked the mic in time. They're like, why are we even here? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> kill them. I think I could probably kill them without any fighters and bombers with this. They're so weak. But it would take a while with my extremely low damage lasers, though. Next. Next. So this, play this probe is mine. Oh, I haven't got enough heavy machinery? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Not too exciting. Um, 
I think I actually got some more heavy machinery. I thought I had quite a few actually, but I guess I was severely mistaken. Okay, so we got the... This actually might be a bit of a challenge getting into actually. Um, let's just do a full speed. Go, go, go! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Nope. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Nope. What? Yes, touched it. Excellent. Ooh, handy. Wait, I know. Wait, I, I got loot. It's two. Come on. Yes. Pretty well. I guess while I'm here, I just want to have a quick look at these other locations. If there's probes here, there might be probes elsewhere. Um, we will head back. Oh, there's apparently a really good location over here. Volcanic world. Okay, I'm less bothered about that. I really want to find a really nice, like, um, habitable world I can go to. Volcanic. No, no, none of these are actually livable, I do not think. Yeah, let's do, a, let's do a few scans while I'm here. Enough on the scan at the moment. Ah, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> they get bored eventually. Oh, maybe there's nothing else here. Well, not at least like I can see. I was expecting to find a little bit more uh, pings on my radar here. There's still another one in the middle of these three planets. Nope. It might just be that I'm just... I haven't got a good sense of capacity, but I don't think there's anything else here we can look at immediately anyway. Uh, let's head back, shall we? Okay, is there any more missions I can do nearby? We have got a bit of money now, actually, which is quite nice. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to find missions, but I guess I can't accept them at the moment, because I'm just too far away. Let's head back to... Hmm... Let's go there. There wasn't that many good stuff to buy from the system I was in earlier. So we're trying to go somewhere else to see if we can get some more upgrades for our ships and stuff as we go along. I'm going to have to go inside immediately though because I've run out of fuel. So, <laughs> bit of a problem. I think there's ludic path here. Let's go and have a quick look, shall we? I wonder if we can get some fighting going. Hello? Wait. Oh, the actual, sorry, the actual planet itself is the thing. Fair enough. I guess so I can also activate the gate while I'm running around. That is way too far away. <laughs> no, thank you. Withdrawn. Damn it. We definitely need to buy some supplies, though. If you look at the bottom left, I have 34 fuel left, so not exactly enough to get anywhere else. I presume they sell fuel here. If not, I'm going to be in a very awkward state. Well, that is bright. Oh, my, my eyes. Sure, like that's too close to the sun, guys. You you can't do anything over there. There's a fuel. Perfect. Anything interesting I could buy? Some really damaged ships. But no. Uh, let's have a look at the actual equipment. Warthogs, broadswords. Salamanders? No, no salamanders. What about medium mounts for ah? No, I don't gonna bend, I'm not gonna spend my money on equipping these Gemini's. They're pretty crazy ships. We'll just leave them as they are. Oh wait, while I'm here, is there a merch? Uh, not a merchant. A ooh, I can spy custom construction of up to. Oh, I can buy. Okay, we're gonna do this. Screw it. What does he provide? Railgun. Okay, do you know what? <laughs> That's a terrible roster of weapons. No, thank you, sir. I'm disappointed in you. That was awful. Let's go and check out this jungle world as well. It's too far away. The distance is too vast. Maybe we can, let's just go and do a bounty next then. Um, there should be some bounties nearby. Wow, I can't deal with that one. That's way too powerful. Maybe the top one here? I know it's pretty easy, but I mean, it gives us quite a bit of money doing it anyway. And also, if we go far away, we can probably look for some colonizable planets we can grab at some point in the game as well. I might actually might buy a little bit more. Actually, I'm not going to buy. I'll leave these be. 
Let's see. So, nothing of interest. Nope. Yeah, if you're not going towards... Um, if you don't go towards military bases, the goods you can get is normally quite poor. What is this? She wants me to deliver stuff to a nearby system. I can do that. Yeah. Also, I get an XP boost if I do this. Screw it. Awesome. Cool, I got a little merchant mission. So we'll do that. And this person wants what? So this, oh, they're going to give stuff to my car, I think. No, thank you. Also, I cannot afford that much. That is way too much. <laughs> anyway, let's get moving, shall we? Accepted mission. This is such an easy mission. It's literally like right over there. I got really lucky. I should probably check out um, the bars more often. Another relief fleet. I like how the AI is just spamming relief fleets at me to uh, fix my economy. <laughs> Perfect. They're such kind nations nearby. There must be elections coming up nearby. They're like, oh, quickly, let's do something people will like. It's like every time there's an election near my place, all of a sudden the grass is cut. I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't normally happen for years. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to deliver them here, right? This is a very easy batch of money we're getting here. This is where it like spawns a giant pirate of that right in front of my face right now. Yay! <laughs> Tree contact! <gasps> that could be super handy for getting a lot of money. We'll keep her on our list and we'll see if we do money fit missions for every once in a while as we go around the map. What is this? Deliver item to nearby... Oh, this is a pirate thing. I'm going to decline for now. No, I'm going to do it. Screw it. <laughs> I need money, okay? Deliver aged twisted piece of wood. Very odd. Must be some strange signal they're doing. What is this one? Near the Gamma location. Is that a pirate base? We'll take that as well. Pirate fleet bounty. Awesome. Okay. And also, if we finish this mission for her, she will probably definitely be in military contact. So this would be really handy for us in the long run. Ooh. Wasp into drones. I'm not going to pick them, but they just look pretty cool. Okay, let's get some more supplies then, and we will head out far, far away. So first things first, we've got two sets. We do the pirate one first. We quickly smash that out. We drop off the skids, then we head north. Oh, I need more fuel for this, don't I? If I'm looking at the stats there, I can get quite a skill with it. <laughs> That's too much, too much, too much. The price goes up significantly as stuff runs out. I get that much. Okay, everybody, I'm trying to get to the target and then disappeared out of nowhere. I feel like I should probably not allow it to catch me or I might die. Um, I presume it's something to do with this weird bed drop I'm doing. No, 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 no. So I guess if I just fly in there, drop it off and leave, I've technically done my mission. <laughs> oh, no! It's okay. We dodged it. Drop it off. It counted. Surely at this point, that pirate chasing is just going to pick up, right? <laughs> but that's not my problem. I've done my job, everybody. Um, did they disappear? No, they're still there. They're, they're chasing me. If we go really far up, we loot right and go back down again, I'm pretty sure I should be far enough away to actually get the AI to... Uh, so the game now me to grab that mining base over there. They're too far away to technically be chasing me. Oh, I missed it. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Extensive ruin location. Very cool. Damn it. Ooh. That's very handy. I would definitely take that. What is this? Plasma dynamo. Ooh, increased volatile production by three. 
Requires mining in gas giant. Okay, that's not great. But we have also picked up an AI core though, which I do love AI cores. Uh, we'll take all this. Uh, we probably have a bit too much ore. Just going to put it out there. <laughs> so I might get rid of some of that. And let's carry on, shall we? Run away! Run away! They might, they might catch me. They might catch me. Oh, okay. So let's go to our next mission then, which is up here. Might be a bit of a travel time to get there though. Uh oh. It's fine. Perfect. I completely navigated that as you, a pro, would do. <laughs> By that I mean I completely messed it up. Well, I, wait, I probably should actually mark it as an objective. There you go. So as we're going quite far away from civilized space, I hope that we find some cool stuff here. Though I do currently have a bit of a problem with... Um, ooh. I get XP for my amazing profits. Oh. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me, game, that you're removing income uh, XP from me? It might just be like, negative 20 income. Five days left and it'll start making something. Apparently it is making money though. I guess it only just started doing that a few seconds ago. Wow, we're running out of supplies and fuel. So we had to do some good battles here or we're just stuck here forever. For the rest of time. Okay. We're, we're, we've arrived. It's time... Oh no, am I still being chased? That's a sensor blip. Okay. Is this the place? No. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. This is the place I'm meant to be. Which I presume houses a pirate base. Fight me! There's a lot of them. They've got free strike the... We have to kill them quickly or we're in some doo-doo, everybody. Or we deploy everybody. If we take down one at a time with a super bombing run, we should be okay. Or should I try and take down some of these random guys first? That guy's way too close. Go from first. We should have fighter superiority, so as long as we get rid of units with a lot of point defense, we should eventually start just nap, putting down and killing all these enemies here. Oh, that's really bad. I probably should probably be helping over here. No, 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 no. The Gemini is not designed for combat. Kill the mine la- at least the mine lasers worked out though. Okay, we're gonna focus on that guy first. I don't know where my other ally bombers are. Hopefully they show up soon. Their shields aren't that great. Even me just attacking with this high-velocity driver is going to eventually cause some problems. Good hit, good hit. That's really... Can you, like, run away from combat, please? You're not going to be in combat. Like, okay, change target, change target. No, save him! Go, my missile guys. Go, 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 go. It's got a flat cannon. Very annoying, but we've hurt it enough that it'll back up. Okay, that guy's really hurt. The Gemini's are kind of just being <laughs> surrounded. Excellent. Good job, guys. So this one has... This is the most dangerous one in terms of my bombing runs. I want to avoid that one because it has the flak. I'll just get my guys to back up. Hopefully they can keep enough distance. I'll try and stay close by. If they need some help, we'll send help. Um, I guess I can maybe send my guy. There's, there is dudes just running around killing random frigates, which is what I want to see right now. Screw it. Go in. in. We can, get, we can do a good... Oh, wrong button, wrong button. I keep pressing the uh, attack damage button instead of the other one. Come on. No, not good enough. So then, first one down. Um, we'll keep backing up for now. I'll let this AI just do its own thing for a little bit because it probably focuses on all these random frigates. I'll send my guys to help kill that wolf over there and I'll keep backing up. We're too far away from the enemy for me to get caught at this point, I think. So we should be okay. 
Also, I think my high velocity driver will probably keep most of them at bay, but I'm a bit worried about what's happening down there. Very good. That guy's gotten really close. Let's target this guy now. Oh, is this going to be a double attack run? Come on. Is this still one of the flat cannons? Oh, it is. Okay, so we get rid of this one. We should be pretty powerful here. Oh. Come on. Oh, that's bad. I've got a change target. We need some high DPS on that guy to stop him from charging me. Okay, he's backing up now. My ally's still going for the kill over there. I think I might change his target though so he doesn't... Oh, I got the avoid command. Everyone's just left. <laughs> Oops. Pretty weird playing a carry guy. Normally I'm just charging around my own battleship, killing everybody, but. I think we can probably cut out this mule quickly because he's pretty weak anyway. There you go. A few missiles here and there. Should be him out the battlefield. Oh, yes. They're going towards him. Back up. Okay, show him an eye, please. Gemini's are pretty much suicide units. I don't know why. Um, we show enough DPS on this guy to stop anything really bad happening. Let me just try and get a bit closer if I can. He's going to lose... It's not looking good over there. I think we might have lost those ships. He just got too close. Simple as that. Uh, actually, what I'll do... I got no more commands. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I guess it was kind of a semi-success and also a disaster at the same time. Just like everything I normally do. Have we not killed this guy yet? He's very tanky. Okay, Gemini's down. They did get a kill in the end. I mean, tra trading a single Gemini for an entire pirate army is pretty good in my opinion. Though, of course, I'd rather get away with not losing any ships. Cool this looks. Okay, next barrage. We should be good. We're still quite far away though. There's a lot of broadswords in one formation there. Okay, 50% more damage. Fire! Oh, it came back online last second. Make me proud, guys. Finish it. There's no way he's surviving that. Beautiful. Okay, claim victory. Uh, we will pursue. Hopefully these shepherds can randomly kill a hound. Yes, they can. I cannot recover it. I'm not going to do a story point on a Gemini, everybody. It's dead. I'm sorry. It's fine. So we got quite a few things here. We did get a bit of money from that bounty there. I... What we'll do, I will hang around here for a little bit anyway. So regardless, I need to get some more fuel to safely get back to other locations. We'll probably end the episode here though, because I've been playing for around an hour now, I think, in terms of content I'm putting in the video. So I um, hope that everyone has enjoyed today's episode. We have made quite a bit of money. So I didn't get more carriers like I wanted, but we did actually start weirdly a own, our own faction. And also, we have an ability to make more money quickly in these pirate battles over in a second. So thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.